Hello guys, welcome, this is Karen from Falcon Studios and I'm here today with my FIFA 13 series. As you can see, I am just starting a FA, an FA Cup tie with Blackburn Rovers. I was, well I thought I was recording it, but it turns out I wasn't. But um, yeah, starting off the game straight away here, it was a bit of a dull first half, we had a few long range shots. Nothing was really happening up until this point, they were just talking about Scott Dan, you can see in the top hand corner there. But um, get a nice cross in, and Ogbonna, I think that's his first goal for the club. He, Fantastic finish, 17th minute of this cup tie. Um, headed it right in the far corner from where he was, across his body, across the keeper, across everybody really. It was a fantastic finish, and um, yeah, it was it was good. It got us one 0 up. We should we were really on the driving seat for this game. We should really have done a lot better in the whole way, but they got through on goal. Good bit of defending, but we do eventually get that away. But they were bombarding us with attacks. This was another great chance that they had. Uh, keeper Fabianski had in goal for this game. Um, was snuffing them all out, but then he went and did this straight from the, uh, like, basically just kicking it away and then decided to give the ball away like that, and we had a few nervy moments in defence, but we do eventually get it away. And then they had another great chance here, just swivelling in and out of, the de of our defence. We do make challenges, but they keep going back to them, and they strike it wide, and it was the story of this whole game, to be honest. We did have another chance here, Aaron Ramsey. Strikes it, hits the post, comes back on, onto the keeper. It's just, that's just like the type of one that you have really bad luck in. Either it sometimes it like hits the keeper's head and then bounces back into the goal. Just unfortunately didn't do that for us. But they were just completely bombarding us with attack, attack after attack. We had a really weakened side out for this game because um, everyone was really injured, not injured, but they were like fatigued, that sort of thing. But um, we had a bunch of chances throughout this game. Uh, there was another great strike there, I think, from Diaby. Well, we had chances throughout the game, Giroud with another chance there, but nothing really materialised. I had to put Sanya up front, and he, he's the one that played that um, pass through, but then Javinho can't finish. But we did end up winning 1-0, so we did get through, and um, yeah, we're straight into the second game now. We have a game against uh, Swansea, and uh, uh, nothing happened there, <laughs> nothing at all. <laughs> So we move on to our next game now against Reading, and uh, they also had a bunch of chances. But that was this was pretty much the highlight of the first half, that tackle. But then things did liven up in the second half a little bit. We had some chances, we had some shots, nothing really materialised though. Cross that was meant to be for Giroud, but it got deflected away. Just chances like that, another bit of good play there. Nabry on the outside will get a cross in. He does get fouled there, I think that's a foul and that should be a penalty. It affects his cross completely, but... Then again, we should have really materialised in that chance as well. Nothing doing here. Vermaelen picks the ball up from about 20 yards out and smacks it. Doesn't go in though. Unfortunate. Oxo Chamberlain has a free kick. He's not known for his free kick taking, but that was a very good free kick. And Ogbonna almost scored his second goal for the club. And it would have been a second goal of the video. I should have really sweated that, seeing as it was the uh, Premier League 80th minute. But, oh well, we drew that 0-0. That... You would have thought that would have been catastrophic. We go into our next game now against Everton, and things definitely livened up in the attacking end of our pitch, at least. We missed that chance early on, but then this is where we strike. We strike very well here with Giroud, in the back of the net. I hate the pitch, so for this game, obviously against Everton, it is at night, so um, all the floodlights are on, and that really annoys me. It makes the pitch look so... Horrible, makes the camera quality look terrible as well, doesn't it? But that finish was fantastic, right across the keeper. But then we go straight from kickoff, pretty much, a couple of minutes after, and Nabry gets played through. Nabry isn't known for his shooting, he did score that goal against Everton in the first game as he's an Goodison Park, remember it? It was a fantastic finish. This one, again, wasn't a fantastic finish, but it was a goal nonetheless, and it was one that we really needed, so, um, he got us 2-0 up after 14 minutes. They had another chance. You see Leighton Baines, you do not want to give him that much space. And that did trigger me to change the formation. After this goal, I changed the formation. Uh, so I had four at the back. Because Leighton Baines just had so much space to run into. Because it would be Leighton Baines against Nabry. But then Giroud had a great chance here. He intercepts the ball, gets a lovely cross in. Walcott and Walcott left-footed just wide. And that was a very good chance. Very good build-up play. Um... Walcott picks the ball up about 30, 40 yards out maybe, plays it across to Cazorla. Cazorla, in recent games, has had no real impact. And there again, that just nullifies his um, impact in the team. He's 87 overall, and he's just not doing anything. Giroud breaks through, great finish. 
70th minute, right in the bottom corner, across the keeper. Keeper really should have done better, but that is Juru. He, he's been on fire in uh, my career mode. He's he's a top quality player. He's got great finishing, great heading accuracy as well. But that technique to let him just leave the defender and just that's just fantastic. Can't ask for more really. And that makes it three one. And then I did something stupid here. I just I wanted to preserve my players' fatigue so they weren't injured and like tired for the next game. But then this happened. I don't really understand what's going on here. Just, everyone's just falling over each other. We do eventually get the ball away from that, but a seemingly like redundant chance became a great chance for them because just our players are falling over each other. But then we did go and win that one three one. And our next game is against West Brom. So this was also another very high scoring game. Um, I, I was quite I was quite pleased with our performance in this game. I must admit, I'm gonna say that before. Uh, Arshavin, I put him in from the start in this game because um, Oxley Chamberlain was tired, but he start, went off to a great start here, just, just firing over the bar there, and that was, that was his ch first chance of many. The Giroud here cuts inside, gets into his left foot. He always wants to win his left foot. He had to cut in on his right, and then he just misses the target there as well. But Arshavin, just look at the, he's got some great pace for a player who's seemingly getting worse and worse in this game, but then. Walcott loses the ball, but then he just picks the ball up, there was a bit of defensive errors there, and then Walcott scores Arsenal's first goal of the game, after 29 minutes he steals the ball from a defender, and they're seemingly just passing around the defence, as the high pressure that we put them under caused them to, well obviously be under pressure, and then they just gave the ball away, and then Walcott is never going to miss from there, he also had Giroud in um, company there, so we didn't, we didn't struggle too much with that, that was our first goal, Walcott got through again, uh, I thought this should have been a foul, but again, what can you do? Um, the keeper saves, it was a brilliant save. And we, we were just completely bombarding them with attacks, attack after attack after attack. Giroud got through again here. Um, I thought it should have been a foul, but then again, we do regain the ball. Arshavin plays it through to Giroud again. Nothing doing from that chance. They are, they are seemingly on the ropes here. Arshavin skips past his man, as if he's not even there. It's just, and a fantastic cross in. Lays it up, Giroud, right foot volley, and they do clear it, but I haven't cut this bit out, this is a seemingly very long clip, because so much happens in this clip, um, so many chances, Giroud gets inside again, slide tackles, Ramsey wins the ball back, Arshavin out on the wing, Arshavin, he's just so magical, look, look at this, look at this turn here, just loses two men from one turn, Giroud's shot is blocked, but then... Theo Walcott with the rebound, and that is what I love about Walcott, he's always in a really good attacking position, because he will always get those rebounds, and that is what I love about him, but that turn there by Arshavin, that was just amazing, and that's why I'm going to start playing him more in my career mode, because although his stats are going down, he's still got that sharpness in a footballer, that's what I really like, another lovely ball over the top of Walcott here, and this, this should have been sending off, look how much they're like pulling him around, Walcott has... So much pace, that was a fantastic shot there just wide, but there should have been some action from someone in this team. Arshavin, again, just skipping past his menace, but there's no one there. And a fantastic shot, which was blocked by, I think that's um, Foster, isn't it, in goal, for West Brom? Not sure, but then another great chance here, Giroud slots into the bottom corner of the net, 83rd minute, fantastic finish. Wrong foot, it was his weak foot, right foot, and... Um, yeah, it was lucky to rebound into his path, but he didn't He didn't hesitate to smack that one in. That's 3-0. They had a magnificently worked chance here. They're probably their only good chance of the game. And they worked that magnificently. If you see the way that they're one-touch passing, their movement was fantastic. I just couldn't pick him up at all. But we did go on to win the game 3-0. So um, that did leave us in good spirits in the Premier League. In our next episode, I, I have recorded them already, but um, they'll be going up next episode. This game's against Stoke. Fulham and Norwich. Our game against Stoke is an FA Cup semi-final, as you can see on the screen now. But before I finish this episode, guys, I want to say that if the audio quality is out at all, like right, they don't line up quite well, it's because my computer it's absolutely terrible, right? And when I do the voiceover, it lags when I'm playing the clip in front of my face. So um, forgive me for that, but there's nothing I can do until I get a new computer. As you can see on the table there, we're third. That is is good for us. It does improve. I'll tell you that now, it does improve, we had a bit of poor form at the beginning of the video, but uh, yeah, that's all I've got time for today guys, thank you all for watching, you've been magnificent, um, see you next time, goodbye.